So finally, lovely to meet you at last, Joe. Thank you. Well done you today. <laughs> I know. No, the pleasure's mine. All right. <laughs> well, I've watched you from the commentary box for so long now and never got the opportunity. I love the process that you go through on the court. I really do. Point by point. Um, you know, is it hard sometimes to keep that going in the crunch moments of a match? Um, it, it definitely can be difficult sometimes but that's I think normal and as you would know I think it, it's part of it I think uh, in those times it's about keeping good perspective and also being kind to yourself and acknowledging that it's it's actually normal I'm feeling this way it's normal that I'm feeling nervous it's normal that maybe my legs are feeling a bit heavier or my arms feeling a bit tight and I think uh, trusting in your ability to, for your for almost your computer to take over and, and for your, your system to, to do the work on its own, trust in the repetitions that you've done through the years. Oh, I know all about that. Exactly. I mean, you make it sound easy, I have to say, <laughs> but I, I know it's not. I mean, it must have really helped you coming into this year, having such a fabulous last year, to, to move on again. Um, I think it, it's definitely helping with the experiences that I've had, especially in such a concentrated amount, uh, amount as the last kind of year and a half. But it's also important not to forget the experiences that I, I went through previous to that. I think uh, I, I, really, uh, I really just try to uh, be like a sponge and really try to draw on experiences from the past during a match and, and almost almost make myself feel better and saying, oh no, I've been in this position before or similar or I've had these feelings before and, and everything was okay and the sun still came up the next morning. So I think it's, it's having also a bit of good humor and, and, and just a good, a good perspective on, on it's, yeah, this is a tennis match and you're out here to give your best and that's all you can do. Yeah, 100%, yeah. isn't it? Um, working with Wim Fazette, that must be exciting. Not to give anything away, but I mean, you must be working on new things with him? I think uh, it's constantly looking to evolve, and I think he's, he's someone that has worked with some of the best players in the world, and, and so I, I, I'm really just enjoying being a sponge around him and trying to really absorb as much information as I can from him and listen to him, because he's because he has had that experience with those players he's also been around some of the some of the biggest stages at in the latter moments and i think just to pick his brain on what those players are like and and i mean someone like kim's Kleisters, for example i mean the champion that she is i mean i it's, it's almost exciting just to hear about you know what what uh, you know how she was preparing for a match or things like that but ultimately we're also looking to improve myself as much as i can and improve uh, you know, once you get to a certain stage, it's about maximising every little bit, and that's what that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Last thing, Serena, you sound really excited to be playing here and going on court against her. Have you got a plan in mind? Um, we haven't spoken about it yet. Um, so I think for for today, it's also more recovery and more relaxing, and then tomorrow we'll we'll speak we'll speak specifically about the match. But uh, I really am looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the opportunity to play to play her. Um, I think uh, to play uh, one of the greatest players uh, in your sport is, is always, it's always a privilege and uh, I'm just looking forward to going out there, competing the best that I can and, and really hopefully play a good competitive match for, also for the people that are coming to watch. Yeah, well have fun and good luck. Thank you.